Now next, on the CR and on the CR. Before the end of the week, the Senate must come to an agreement to pass a short-term extension of government funding in order to give appropriators more time to complete a year-long omnibus. It's the most responsible thing we can do to support our appropriators as they continue their bipartisan work. Right now, lawmakers and advocacy groups are pushing for more relief, especially for seniors, who need the help the most. The Senior Citizens League is supporting efforts in Congress to send an additional $1,400 in support targeted to Social Security recipients. The Biden administration in Congress has already approved additional stimulus checks of $1,400 for most people. But due to the inflation, the Senior Citizens League urges Congress to approve an extra check for the elderly. The Senior Citizens League members are collecting tens of thousands of signatures to promote a stimulus check for elderly people. Do you support this push for more stimulus payments, folks? Tell me in the comments down below. Now, it's been confirmed that checks worth up to four grand will be sent out this month. And Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders is urging everybody, all Democrats specifically, to help the low and middle income people that are experiencing financial troubles. Bernie Sanders wants to send out more stimulus checks ASAP. Now, according to independent... Now, according to Bernie Sanders, everybody, Democrats are on the wrong path and they need to take a major course correction, pivoting back towards the need of low income and working people. Sanders' criticism came as much of President Biden's domestic agenda. Domestic agenda continues to be negotiated on in Congress, among the Democratic Party. This also comes as the Republican Party has been united in opposing President Biden's policies. Now, Sanders told reporters, it's important that we have the guts to take on the very corporate interests that have unbelievably powerful hold on, this account hold on the economy. Sanders even said that he's not surprised that Republicans are winning more support from the working class. He said it's not because the Republican Party has anything to say to them. It's because in too many ways, the Democratic Party has turned its back on the working class. Do you agree with the statement from Bernie Sanders, folks? Tell me in the comments down below. Sanders has also criticized Joe Manchin and Sinema because they often break with Democrats. Sanders and the progressive lawmakers, like Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, frequently criticized the Biden administration for not being bold or progressive enough with his agenda. AOC went out against Joe Manchin in the United States Senate calling for reforms in the institution and demanding that, fan that Joe Manchin face consequences for not supporting Biden's Build Back Better bill. AOC has urged the president to use the power of his executive pen to take action on his $1.75 trillion legislation. AOC has not, ruled out has not ruled out challenging Chuck Schumer in the 2022 Democratic primary as well. She has also reiterated our call for an end to the filibuster in the Senate. She has also pushed Biden to make use of his executive power. AOC to reporters, it takes the president of the country, who I believe needs to be more forceful, who I believe needs to be more forceful on the filibuster. He also needs to lean on his executive authority and say, if you're going to get in the way, we're going to find other ways to do this. And I definitely do think that President Biden should already take executive action on the Build Back Better bill and send out more stimulus checks as well. Now, everybody, the first round of February's increased Social Security benefit payments will be sent out this week, and the new COLA checks will be sent out in three waves according to the recipient's birthday. To finish an omnibus. No one, and certainly not my Republican colleagues, want a Republican government shutdown. So I'm hopeful that they will cooperate with us to pass this necessary CR, which every single Democrat wants to happen, and will cooperate to make sure that it happens. Once again, I thank Chairman Leahy and Ranking Member Shelby for their leadership and for working in good faith to arrive at a year-long spending agreement. I also commend my colleagues in the House Chairman DeLauro and Ranking Member Granger, Democrat and Republican, for their work. A year-long omnibus is a thousand times better than relying on CRs, continuing resolutions, to lurch from one short-term extension to the next. I remain optimistic that both sides will keep working together on drafting legislation to fund the government so it can fully serve the American people. Now, first, uh, Mr. President, I understand there's a bill at the desk that is due for a second reading. The clerk will read the title of the bill for a second time. H.R. 3076, an act to provide stability to and enhance the services of the United States Postal Service and for other purposes. In order to place the bill on the calendar under the provisions of Rule 14, I would object to further proceeding. Objection having been heard, the bill will be placed on the calendar. Thank you, Mr. President. Now, Mr. President, last night, and this is relevant to what we just did, putting the new bill on the calendar um, for a second reading. Last night, we had a chance to continue progress 
on a bipartisan, long overdue postal reform bill when I moved to expeditiously fix a few technical errors to the legislation sent to us by the House. Sadly, my request was blocked by the junior senator from Florida without much in the way of clear explanation. For instance, he says he wants to stand up for postal workers, but all the organizations representing postal workers strongly support this bill. They are eager for it. He says he wants to protect, strengthen Medicare, but Postal already pays into Medicare, and the CBO says that this proposal, this bill, will save the government money. So I hope, for the sake of our postal workers, our postal service, and for the millions, tens of millions, even hundreds of Amer millions of Americans who depend on postal service, that this is not obstruction for obstruction's sake. This is a textbook example, Mr. President, of why Americans often get frustrated with the Senate and with Washington. Postal reform is highly bipartisan. It got a majority of votes in the House from both parties. It's desperately needed. We all hear from our constituents about snail mail and the price they pay for it. It's backed by both parties in both houses, including the chairman and ranking member of the relevant committees, the Democratic and Republican leading members of both committees. And it has broad support from the postal workers, who tend to be Democratic, and Postmaster DeJoy, who is a friend of President Trump's and was appointed by him. Nevertheless, it was blocked. I am sure that Republicans don't want to be the party that was responsible for blocking popular and bipartisan postal reform. The delay is regrettable, but the good news is that we will get bipartisan postal reform done. It's been negotiated for months and debated for a decade. It has enough bipartisan support, more than enough, ample support, to become law, and I'm hopeful we'll move it through this chamber as quickly as we can, and that's what the procedural motion I did before was about. And I certainly want to thank my colleagues on both sides of the aisle for Okay, I'm proud to be joined by our leadership team of Senators Durbin, Murray, and Stabenow. So we had a great lunch today, really a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of new ideas uh, on, de on focusing on lowering costs for working families, whether it's child care or prescription drugs or semiconductor chips or filling up the gas pump, what's on the dining table, cost of food. We're coming up with solutions to address these issues. That's the big difference between Democrats and Republicans when it comes to lowering people's costs. We have real answers. They don't. They just attack. And why don't they have answers? Because much of